So, for example, sitting down on the tube in London, and there's only a certain amount of seats that I can fit into. Mm -hmm. uh, the ones at the very, very side of it, like the end, which is where you usually only sit if you're pregnant or uh, have a disability or anything like that. So I, you already feel really bad about, you know, taking up that um, that space because you're like, oh, no, <laughs> this is the only place I can sit. But there's also the, you know, people would rather stand than sit next to you. And if they do sit next to you, there's either like an aggressive elbow in the side uh, because they kind of want to show that you shouldn't be taking up a bit more space. And there's the, the you know, people being completely crammed together, but no one sits next to you. And the general feeling of not being welcome anywhere, you know, walking through the streets, realizing that there's not, you can't fit into any of the clothes in any of these uh, shops, you know, you're not represented on any of the billboards um there's a con there's a constant like can this chair hold me or mm -hmm. should I not be sitting down or oh, this chair has armrests okay so I'm gonna need to ask for a different chair and it's this you're constantly reminded that the world is not built for you and no one really wants you there and then at the same time there will be all these adverts about oh you know the news about how fat people are the reason that <laughs> the pandemic is there or I mean, the reason for everything evil in the world. So it's it's a lot of minuscule attacks. Yeah, that, death by a thousand cuts. Yeah, that I don't expect, I don't even expect thin people to notice these things. Uh, and even when it doesn't happen, there's the fear of it happening. So even if you go for a whole day and no one has shouted that you're a fat bitch and you should kill yourself, you, you still like when you walk past someone you think oh, is this oh okay no he didn't shout okay okay good you know there's still the you know even if you can fit into the seat there's the moment of or the the anxiety around it like oh will I get that seat the one seat I can fit into you know and all of those things weren't there when I was at home for two years you know and that it it placed it, it made me realize how how much time I spend leading up to leaving my house, just gathering myself and strengthening myself and going, okay, you can do this. And then how much time I spend after I've been outside on just calming my nervous system again. And like, whew, you survived. Let's just take a day where you don't do anything and where you just calm yourself down. And that's a lot of time that I have spent my entire life, you know, either preparing for or recovering from just these very subtle aggressions that are constant. Mm -hmm.